you can also go on the top of the catalog as you can see here and the price is 80 rupees per person so i have took the entry in the catalog and i'm going upstairs and the ticket cost 80 rupees per person and there are 330 steps you have to take but the view is really beautiful so it works so let's see how it's after I'm on the first floor and here you can see around the city it looks really beautiful I'm almost 200 steps above and the view from here it's amazing really amazing so I have arrived on the top of Strasbourg Carrier and as you can see behind me there are some mechanical parts made from wood and almost probably hundreds of years old and there is a small room and then outside that's a beautiful view and this is the main tower <laughs> and this is the highest position where you can come and on the both side here and on this side there are really beautiful views It's written here that this uh, platform is actually made from the Middle Age and from 18th and 19th century people of Strasbourg used to come always upstairs uh, here on the weekday weekends and there were some musicians they were playing music also and all the people were making music picnic here and it's really great you can have like 360 degree view of whole Strasbourg and also there are some small like metal pilot pieces they have put so you can see like specific stuff. This is for the Rhine River, and here we take a small town in Germany on the border of Strasbourg. If you like see here, you can see that one. The platform, there are the distances written of its city, and as you can see on the east side, the New Delhi is 6198 kilometers. Just kind of feeling like summer, and it's really sunny, so I took some ice cream, which is really nice, and it's just in front of the cathedral. There is one uh, really small gelato shop and you should definitely have a look, it's, it's really really great one. Uh, this is the Bobo Dam, actually it is really famous and it is built by one architect, a civil engineer who is called Bobo. And it is really famous like if you are taking a boat tour around here, you will be coming here with the boat and they will take you around and then go back. And if you are interested in taking the boat tour, you can take such boat and it costs per person like 14 euro 50. So you can take that boat and it's a ride of 1 hour and 10 minutes. And they will take you around all the Strasbourg and all the buildings and also through European Parliament. And that's really beautiful. I have already done it before um, almost two years. So I'm not going to do it today, but it looks beautiful. Right now I'm on the top of Vauban Bridge and this is in front of me La Petite France and if you are taking a boat tour, boat will take you here and then roaming around here and then we'll go back from this direction as this boat is going and if you are on the top of the bridge you will be able to have a really nice view of Strasbourg just in front of me there is this cathedral Strasbourg and there are some people on top where we were just before if you are and this Ubo bridge is just like 20 minutes walking from the cathedral so if you are roaming around come here and well, most importantly you don't need to buy any crown ticket here because everything is in walking distance and if you are able to walk one to two kilometers at a time it's really easy to walk around all the places and in this La Petite France has a lot of cafes and restaurants where you can really explore and enjoy the food that whatever you would like to enjoy if you are already done with roaming around all the major places in Strasbourg you should definitely get yourself lost in really small street as you can see behind me and they are really beautiful there are really small shops and restaurants and if you are roaming around without any location without any destination then you will find really nice cafes all around and also some good restaurants so like go for it and don't use google maps just go around wherever you can in Strasbourg because it's so beautiful 
last time actually when I was in Kashmir it was really warm around here and it was summer and at that time I just found out one coffee which is called the Bloom and I wanted to have a game there so I have taken a plate and one of the carrot cake is coming and as you can see it's just here and the address is This is the carrot cake and I swear this is amazing, really, really, really great, great cake. And as you can see here, like you can roam around in, in Strasbourg anywhere. And there are so many cafes around here. You can also search by yourself. But I highly recommend coming to this bloom. It's really great coffee. Highly recommend it. Once you are done with all the sightseeing and in Strasbourg, you can just go around the canal and it is a student city. So you can sit around there and there are multiple students doing parties and talking and they are having fun over there. So if you have some time, you can go there, sit there and enjoy the view because there is a really nice view, uh, river and you can just see people around roaming and also there are a lot of bridges where you can go. On sunset time, you can come here and enjoy the really beautiful view of the, this river and you can also see the sunset over there. Strasbourg is a, such a small city that if you are just roaming around, in like almost 3 hours I have came to this place for I think 4th time. So it doesn't matter where you are roaming around. You will end up at one place and that is this La Petite Florence or either you will end up at the cathedral. So it's really great. but. You can see everything really quietly and if you are traveling just for one day in Strasbourg it's more than enough and then maybe you can go to Colmar or somewhere around Strasbourg. So for dinner I am also in the same kind of restaurant that we went for lunch and it was called, it's called Delicious Burger and it's like called 100% vegan burger. Let me show you. This is how the burgers came out. This is 100% with burger and it is so delicious like it's amazing and there are like two burgers and both of them are really really delicious and in Strasbourg this is just near the main railway station if you are there delicious is the must like go for it it's really like 9 euro per burger but it was really nice and if you would like to know more about Strasbourg, there are some free tours, free guided tours and most of the time you don't have to do any registration for that. You just come in front of this cathedral and there will be some guide with the sign in their hand. You just go and say hello and you can also select any other language. Either you can take English, German, French, Spanish, whatever you like and they will take you around all Strasbourg and show you and they will also talk about some history facts. Today I didn't have time so I didn't take it but if you are going for it you should definitely check it out if you want to have more details about the history and just look the beautiful cathedral behind me. And this is how the cathedral of Strasbourg look like in the night. It's illuminated in really nice lights. It looks really beautiful.